Hi, and welcome to a Galaxy Cast. Thanks so much for joining in. I'm proud to bring you Huck versus Demaga. Huck is a very, very well known American player now living in Korea on a Team Liquid. Uh, Team Liquid will, uh, that includes uh, Noni, TLO, uh, Hydra, Artosis, and others. Um, I could be wrong about some of those. Um, I probably should have done some research before I started talking about Mr. Huck, but he is a very good player. Uh, playing as Protoss, spawning as blue on Metalopolis uh, at the bottom. Now we have Demaga in the upper, uh, uh, what, what do you say, upper quadrant of Metalopolis uh, and spawning as Zerg. Okay, uh, we have Huck sending out his probe. So I'm going to this position here, which is usually where the pros send their first drone uh, or probe or SCV. Demaga spotting here first because this is the shortest path with his overlord. Um, I do want to say that this is going to be a very, very interesting game. I have, have had the pleasure of seeing it once before a few days ago and I wanted to bring it to you. Um, I've tried to adjust my sound so that it's not too um, off balance. I'm also getting a microphone, um, a headset, so that I'm talking right into a headset rather than to my webcam. So pretty soon my um, sound quality should be a little bit better. Here we have the probe uh, scouting Demaga's base and then leaving. And he will see this fast expansion. Uh, we have a gateway coming down for Huck. Um, looks like on 13 or 14. And uh, now Demaga not sending a drone to scout but sending his overlords. And I do have some scrambled eggs right beside me which I'm going to munch on in, in a little bit, so don't worry if my drone if my work kind of sounds like this, it is scrambled eggs. <laughs> I am not dying. And um, also, uh, please do subscribe if you enjoy this cast. It does help me out. It lets me know that you liked it and that it'll encourage me to uh, make more casts in the future. We have a very early nexus. Um, for Huck, even, uh, even before a Zealot or any units, before even that other pylon. So if you look at right now, Huck has got put down a Nexus before that second pylon and before Gas, and now he's he's supply blocked, 18 out of 18, and not making any probes right now. But finally, not supply blocked. Now this is a very very interesting decision by Huck. I've never seen this kind of fast expansion. What you can do, I think, is before Gateway build a nexus, what you do is you build one pylon and then you uh, save up for a nexus. I'm not sure the precise build so I've got a little bit wrong. Uh, we do have some probe, some drone, um, an assassin probe who was trying to do something, um, failed and is now going home back to his home on Ire. And um, I'm very interested to see how this will affect Huck's play. He Usually you're supposed to um, constantly produce probes in SCV, especially at the beginning. And he cut pro, pro production, cut pylon production, cut unit production in order to get this fast nexus up. So Demaga is now, um, if you look at the production tab, is building a queen and four drones. So he is just droning hard, not even any zerglings. Do we have any zerglings on the map? We have two zerglings. One, let's see if we can find them. Um, let's look. There they are, just chilling by the queen. Um, and then we have a zealot hanging out here, guarding this nexus. Says, "My job is to guard this nexus. I will do a good job of it." He's probably on hold position too. One thing you can do is is uh, use that hold position button because the most annoying thing in the world is you want your units to stay here and guard, especially if they're like a ranged unit, and then they just go off and do their own thing. Here we have a wall off of gateways, so going into three gateways. Uh, for Huck researching that um, warp gate. And then uh, third going down for Dumaga. Looks like Huck is going to try and uh, put on some pressure with two stalkers. No, he was just looking at the tower making sure Dumaga wasn't up to anything. Uh, not, but Dumaga is choosing not to be aggressive. If we look at the production tab, we have just drones and a hatchery and a queen for Dumaga. So um, powering up playing for that macro game, and all four simulators are going to be down soon for Huck. I don't see any upgrades or other tech structures yet, besides the cybernetics for just two gateways. The first one now warping into warp gate, and these two presumably, yep, right now, 
will be warp gate technology. We have 47 out of 52 for Huck, 54 out of 60. So if you look at the hmm, army count, we have 54. Uh, uh, Demaga is ahead by one, and that's mostly just drones. Drones now mainarding to Huck's third. And it's interesting that I'm watching this game right now in the everyone can because when I was first watching it, um, you probably won't appreciate this, but I, I was watching it like this, um, and this is the Huck cam. We can see what Huck is looking at, and actually the game looks very different from just the everyone perspective because uh, I'll say it, I'm God right now, I can do anything I want. I can pause, I can look at the APM. Uh, it looks like Hawks APM over 200 average. I have a push going on with sentries and stalkers, and Damaga has so many queens that, that I don't know what uh, Hux, I don't think Hux can break in and kill this hatchery. Queens are actually very powerful. If you look, they do damage of four, attacks two, so they do eight damage, which is with a range of three, which is pretty darn good. Um, I don't have time right now, we're in the middle of the game, to do this, any comparisons I'd like to have. Now, we, if you look at Damaga, he has one Zergling here to prevent, to prevent third from going up. I like how Huck has uh, put pylons all around his base for spotting, and I'm really a big fan of Protoss and Huck, so if it looks like I'm kind of in love with Huck's play, <laughs> if I'm smitten, it's because I am. And, however, Damaga is, is um, keeping his... Um, also a very, very uh, good player, and so if you're a Zerg fan out there, sorry that I'm not as uh, in love with Zerg. I do think Zerg is awesome. Um, I lost to a number of Zerg games on the ladder, and so it's made me rethink my Zerg play. So what I did was I downloaded a bunch of Huck replays. These stalkers just getting out of there. Do, 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 do. That's, their, that's their stalker walk. Stalker walk, do 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 <laughs> And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna start eating my eggs. So yeah, so what I did was I was losing all these games to um to Zerg players. I was like, okay, let's see how Huck handles Zerg. So I, I watched like ten or twelve games from Huck and he's a beast. And he uses um he builds a lot of sentries in the beginning. Um the sentries are good for force fielding off Zerglings. Um, and roaches, all that kind of thing. And then he also, look at his base. He has walled off here. There's room, there might be room for Zealot or something here. And here he's walled off. So if Zerglings want to come in, they have to go through here. Very easy to force field. And, or they have to come around here, and you can force field here and here. So not entirely walled off, because he can get in and out of his base. But um, his uh, <coughs> one, I'd say that, um, yeah, Huck's the man. So anyway, so we have more upgrades coming. Our, um, a Twilight Council with Blink researched and uh, Templar Archives now researching Psionic Storm and Chrono Boosting that. A uh, Hux look at the Nexus. His Nexus are pretty low, 50 on this Nexus. Um, and Damaga has now captured his fourth, spreading creep sedulously on the map. This looks kind of like um, if we go in Damaga's cam. This, this is like a person, a stick figure, this hand here, this hand head and legs, um, making little designs in his creep. Uh, one thing I like to say, the little one likes to take his ravens and like write Team Liquid, so he'll go T, then L. You may or may not care, but I think it's kind of cool. I love the, the little one, and an in-base hatchery going in for Demaga. Focus team back on the game, I know I've been talking about metagame stuff. Here we have uh, 10 Hydralisks, um, 60 drones versus um, Huck. Huck's 71 probes, so Huck is actually ahead in the um, probe count, probe slash drone count. And we have a third going down now for Huck. See how he just walls in here? Very cool, very good play. Now if, it, if you were facing Protoss or Karen, I'm sure he wouldn't be doing that. A little smiley face here with these two eyeballs and a nose. Hi! Um, <clears throat> He's really getting taken out. We go into the Damaga can. He, although his Zergling was killed right here, he has not actually officially seen the third base that we can surmise that there is one. We go into Huck. Huck is not quite aware of this fourth, and all he knows is that um, with this observer, let's see if he's seen the Hydralisk deck. It doesn't look like it, but he he does see that other hatchery. Um, you can just kind of assume they're Hydralisks. 
and um, Park doing a very sort of a mid game, I'd say mid to late game push out. He's gotten his third up. Um, if we look at upgrades, he's one uh, one up, and. Uh,